I'm home alone, unsupervised. Woohoo! I got the whole house to myself. I can walk around, drink out of the milk carton, leave the seat up. I am king of the castle. So what am I doing on my free time? My unsupervised free time? I am going to make another video and to help you guys out to be writers. Today's video is going to be on, uh, it's a viewer request about how to make money as a writer. Apparently his wife is thinking about publishing soon and she has a couple dirty stories yes. and she's afraid to publish them. So I am going to do my best to give him and her good advice and you guys can tag along and uh, pick up any pointers along the way. Hey guys, how are you? We're back. So today's video is going to be a short informational one about how to make money as a writer. I noticed a lot of my videos in the past have been really, really long. I mean, I try to make a short video and it just goes on and on and on like 15, 20, 30 minutes. And it takes a long time to edit it and process it, but I don't really know how to make some of them shorter. I mean, I have to get certain information across, certain pointers. Um, so I apologize if my videos are long-winded, but I am hope that you find them fun. I always try to add a couple things to make you chuckle. So today's video, how to make money as a writer. Can you make money as a writer? Short answer, yes, and also no. It depends on a few things. For example, can you write? You could publish all the books in the world, but if you are a craptastic writer with no understanding about grammar, sentence structure, story structure, character arcs, the use of conflict, how to edit, um, how to make a paragraph, you know, all the mechanical stuff that you need to know. If you don't know any of that, you are going to struggle unless you have a very patient editor and a lot of money to give to that editor. So the first thing you need to have when you're writing is a passion for writing. You have to love telling stories and you have to have a mechanical or, you know, brain knowledge on how to do it. Uh, and after that, that's just the story part. Then you need to know about how to format it, how to upload it, create covers. I have a great video on that, by the way, um, and, and how to market it. I don't personally do any marketing. Um, I've, I know some authors who do, they spend a lot of money out of their budget every month promoting their books. I don't have enough sales to do that. So maybe down the road, it's something I'll look into, but right now I don't, my only, I don't even know if I'd call YouTube um, advertising because I'm just doing videos to help other people because I love writing and I want to see more people publish and overcome that fear that held me back for so long. I mean, I spent, I've been writing since I was a little kid and I spent years being afraid and terrified. And under the old traditional system of, you know, having a publisher and an editor that had to accept your manuscript. Yeah, that, that was a real fear. But with the advent of eBooks and Kindle publishing, you know, the biggest player in the game right now, you can publish your own stuff. But on the flip side, you also have to be able to edit and promote it with a good cover. And yes, I know of a lot of people who make huge money. Um, do I make huge money? <clears throat> no, no, I don't. But I've diversified myself. I'm not just writing erotica. I'm writing a romance, a science fiction. And so I, a lot of my time is spent doing other things and they don't generate income until you're done. So yes, you can make money as a writer, but you can also make quick money, short-term money. Uh, then I decided to write a longer thriller and that sold pretty good, but it's under a different pen name. Um, that's one of the things you should do as a writer is have a pen name for each type of story you write. So if you're writing romance and it's like the Hallmark greeting card romances, you want to have a name that fits that. You don't want to, you know, have people search your name and, you know, they're only into romance and they find out you write some really dirty, raunchy bondage sex stuff. They'll be turned off. So 
one of the things to do as an early writer is to separate your pen names. And Amazon lets you do that. So I have a pen name for my normal titles and then I have the pen name I use as JJ Stewart. The next step is you actually have to write off. Uh, I know it's a strange concept, but it's what you have to do. There is no other way around it. Um, a lot of people like to play imaginary writer. A lot of people like to pretend to be writers and talk about their writing and go to writers groups and you know discuss things on writer forums and stuff but you actually have to sit down and write and I know it's a weird thing to have to mention but you can get so caught up in doing other things that everyday activities your job social life playing games not that I do that um, that you forget to actually write um, so you need to be disciplined and remain focused you have to say okay I am going to hit my word count today uh, and I know it's a, it's a tough thing to do sometimes like when I first started writing I was getting what I was struggling to get 2,000 words a day I like literally had a headache my hands ached um, I was just like this is tough but now two and a half three years later you know I've had days where you know I can write six or seven thousand words in the morning and then do it again in the afternoon I think just recently I pounded out 13,000 words in one sitting um, like I took breaks and stuff but like in in my day um, phenomenal but to do that you have to you have to set it up you have to know what you're gonna write you have to know the characters you have to know the story uh, it's all that prep work you do to enable you to have a good writing session because you don't want to be wandering around aimlessly in a story uh, you'll bore the reader you'll st your your book will have no point you know you want to have crisp um, prose you want to have t good descriptions and characters and that takes time and practice uh, but don't be discouraged you set yourself up for success by having these things jotted down on a piece of paper you know take notes have an idea of where you're going with your story but you actually have to do the writing I know it's brutal uh, oh yeah you also have to publish a lot if you're writing erotica like I do you can't ride your coattails I mean I went from making lots of money every month to less and less because I was working on bigger projects so when you work on a big project like a full-length novel or like a big romance or something that just takes half a year to write or you know a year to write you're not making any income so you need to also be working the shorter stories and that's why I like erotica because well I like the kinky story you can I don't want to say churn them out but you can create them faster and easier and you need to build up your uh, catalog your 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 collection of stories that are for sale because you never know when that one guy or girl will read something you've written and go holy crap this is amazing um, and then they'll they'll look you up on Amazon and they'll buy your entire catalog I've had that happen so many times where I release a, a new video and then not a new video I release a new book and then a couple days later boom someone bought my entire catalog and it's like cha ching I mean that's that's someone you're pleasing that's someone you're, you're meeting what they want and they want more and your job is to write every day and publish a lot for erotica you want to you want to be publishing like every week twice a week you know but you got to keep it fresh and original that's the problem you can get into repetition where you're writing the same story over and over with different names um, that's not what you want to do you want to you want to keep yourself um, what's the word you want to stay inspired not inspired how do you want to say it? you want to be original you know so what erotica needs and writing in general is just people with fresh ideas fresh perspectives a new way of looking at something and the, and the last thing I want to mention is you know don't forget to have fun you know I'll, I know so many writers who just take themselves far too seriously and they forget to have fun um, and I think that's a crucial point in writing and in making videos is to have fun um, you know have 
put some humor in your story. It doesn't have to be all sex. You know, it doesn't have to be all serious drama. I mean, feel free to have fun. Um, joke around, be a little silly. And, and remember why you're writing. You're not just writing to make money, even though that's the main purpose. But you're doing it because you enjoy it. You want to make people laugh. You want to make people, you know, cry or angry or, or, or feel some sort of emotional response to your writing. That's the biggest compliment you can get. And oh my god, my headphones are on. I apologize. I'm sorry for that. And uh, while I'm apologizing, I might as well say sorry for the mess behind me. Um, I should be cleaning that. Uh, it's sort of my makeshift library where I throw books I've read and stuff there. Um, I guess it's not a very good backdrop. But anyway, it's beside the point. So, a quick recap of all the points we made today. Can you write yes or no? That's the important thing. I mean, you might love it, but you might suck. Uh, not only that, but you need to learn grammar. So you have to be studying the craft every day. You need to be, you know, learning about story structure and all that. You need to learn the mechanics of it, how to format, how to um, make covers and everything like that. You actually have to write. You make sure you write every day. Um, whatever your routine is, fit into your schedule. Um, but be consistent and, and as you go you'll learn to write more like your word count will go up and up um, to set yourself up for success you'll have outlines and plots and ideas of you know, what the characters are like uh, and that'll just help you you know fly through it and write your story in no time um, so you need to publish a lot when you're doing erotica um, you need refreshing ideas try to think of things that turn you on if you're writing erotica you know, I write about things that turn me on. Um, this is no secret, but almost all my stories I write about my wife because I have a super hot, like, amazing wife who uh, I write my stories about her because I can't write about an abstract character. I have to think about someone. So I think about, like, ex-girlfriends or girls I knew in college, uh, my wife, and then I write stories, like, fantasies about them and then I, of course, changed the name because uh, I'm not a big fan of being sued. Um, so I do that, and that's just my technique. You know, you can find your own technique. Maybe some people can just create stuff out of the air, but I have to actually imagine my characters as real people. And, and that's just a technique I use. And, but make sure you have fun. That's the most important thing. Have fun. Yes, it can be a grind. There are days you don't feel like writing. There's days you're like, oh my gosh, I have to get this thing published. You know, the weekend's coming or a big holiday and, and people are going to be buying books. I need to get this out there. And you're just like, oh, I don't feel like it. But you have to stay focused and disciplined. But have fun. So good luck with that. I hope this video really helped you. Um, and to our subscriber and his wife, I wish you the best. And uh, I hope you publish it. And uh, maybe, you know, send me a little link or something or a little email. Uh, I like to read what she wrote. Uh, anything to pr promote erotica, I think there's not enough of it. Um, I think it's a, it's a just an amazing genre to write in. You know, you can fulfill your fantasies and your passions and uh, and get paid doing it. So, I'm going to cut this video short before I get long-winded. Um, thank you for watching. I hope it helped you, uh, and I hope it inspired you not to let fear ruin it. Remember. No one is ever going to tell you you're a writer. No one's going to give you permission to write and say, oh, you're now officially a writer. You need to do it yourself. No one's going to give it to you. You have to, you know, put in the work, make the effort and, and get it done on your own. But you're not alone. You know, we're all out here. You know, I'm rooting for you. Other people are rooting for you. Um, you can do it. Don't let fear, you know, stop you and you'll you'll end up being old and gray one day with full of regrets and wondering why didn't i have the courage to just follow my dreams so do it publish it make mistakes you know learn from your mistakes and i really hope you have the success that uh that you deserve so have a great day thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe i was gonna say cheerio cheerio um, have a good day. See you guys.